Here we are at our example five from our complementary and supplementary set of notes. Day two, we're asked to find for x in this particular case. Now we know since it's a straight line like this, we're going to combine these to give us 180 degrees. And so what we're going to do is go ahead and set all of these angles, combining them together to be that 180 degrees. Since again, we're combining this angle, which is 5x plus 4, plus this angle, which is x minus 2, plus this last angle, which is 3x plus 7, all of them are being combined to give us the grand total of 180 degrees. Now, what we're going to go ahead and do is combine our like terms. We have 5x and another x. That gives us 6x plus another 3x is 9x's. Then we have 4 and negative 2. That combines to give us normal 2. But then plus 7. So 2 plus 7 gives us 9. Equals 180 degrees. And then our goal here is to go ahead and solve for x. So to accomplish that, what we're going to go ahead and do is subtract 9 from both sides. Here our 9s are going to cancel. And when we do that, we end up with our 9x equals 171. Now, we're going to go ahead and divide that coefficient 9 on both sides. So 9s are going to cancel with one another, leaving us our x equals. Now, 171 divided by 9 is going to come out to be cleanly 19. Okay, And then what you can always do last is plug that value in for these different angles. So, for example, 5 times 19. Let's go ahead and clean this up a little bit so we can see it a little bit easier. Um, 5 times 19 is 95 plus 4, which is 99 degrees. So this first angle right here is 99. The second one is 19 minus 2, which is 17. And then this last angle right here is 3 times 19 plus 7, which is 57 plus 7. And so then that will be a grand total of 64 degrees. But again, our main question here is solving for x. We did that. Here it is. X is 19. But it's always really handy to kind of know those angles. But again, though, that is example five from our complementary and supplementary day two set of notes.